I just ended a vlog and we're starting another week with another Screaming Sicilian. <laughs> uh, this is a Bessie's Revenge and uh, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin put uh, pepperoni on half of it. He made sure he kept it all on his side. Um, so we will uh, put this on plates like we always do and then we'll go out in the den and we'll find something uh, to watch on TV. Because we have all kinds of shows on. And Ashley's still at work, but Ashley had a, Ashley actually had a Bessie's Revenge for lunch today, but she had one of the I'm Single pizzas. She loves it. She said, you know, some things are hit and miss when you heat them up. She said, yeah, she said like a Marie Callender meal, the chicken meal. She said it's hit and miss. She said these are always good. Every single time they're good. So... We have a box to open from Watsonville, California, which I didn't even know there was a Watsonville, California. This is from Joe, and I will not say your last name. Tammy and Kevin. Oh, this is, for this me. is a beautiful car. That is pretty. Hi, Tammy and Kevin, longtime viewer. <coughs> you're not sure if you have heard of the spicy noodle challenge going around YouTube, but wanted to send you a packet to review. Enjoy Best Joe. I love the card. Joe just wants to be mean. And I love your handwriting. Mean your hand Joe. Oh yeah, this is for you. This no, is, this is for you. This is and for me. No, this and, is for lunchtime review. No, no, no. That's that's not what this is. This is for lunchtime review. This is for review. you and me and Andrew if we could get him, which I don't know if we could or not. Two times spicy. You really don't want to try that for your lunch challenge? We'll have to see what, what they mean by the spicy noodle challenge. Well, that's true. Because uh, if it's a noodle, despite some kind of challenge, then we right. can all do it. We'll try. Right. We'll see what yeah, we'll look it up on YouTube and we'll see what it is because, yeah, literally I have not heard of it. Mm. Uh, so. Uh, Either that or I eat it on a lunch time review. Yeah, so so, we'll so it might be on this channel, it might be on his channel. But thank you very much. This is so cool. Yeah, it gives us uh, something to look up on YouTube. Hot chicken flavor ramen, two times spicy. Can I say something? I've never had ramen. Have I? I've never. Just noodles. I've never you had. Probably ramen. never had ramen. No, I've never had ramen noodles uh, ever. <laughs> And it's funny because my that's nieces, all the time, but. my nieces, when they were little, that's all they used. Well, they still love it. They absolutely love ramen noodles. And, um, you know, my sister has tried to tell them, you, you can't grow up and be uh, big, powerful girls if you're just going to eat ramen noodles. So, uh, but I've never had them before, so I don't even, it, but you say it's just noodles. It's noodles. Yeah, but it seems like they used to eat like shrimp or something. Yeah, I kind of watch seasoning packets you mix in it. This one's chicken. Oh, chicken. Okay, that wouldn't be bad. Okay. Well, we'll look it up and we'll see what it's about. And so, one way or another, we'll definitely do it here or on Kevin's channel. It is Saturday. Yay! And do you hear what's on? Christmas music is back on the radio. Now you have to mute. Yeah, you have to mute it real quick because I don't want to get in trouble for playing it. But Christmas is back on the radio. So if you like Christmas music like me, then you need to turn it on that in the car. It will make you happy. I promise. Um, it's just happy, happy music. And right now we are at Hobby Lobby because Kevin's been wanting a tree. No, we're good luck. I think but have a decoration jar too. I don't think our tree is that old. It's pretty old. Our tree is not that old. It's old. We got it at Garden Ridge. Yeah. And it's not that old. It's old. But we had our last tree forever. I don't think it's that old. <laughs> I don't think our tree is that old. It is 10, 10 to 15 years old. That's not very old. That's pretty old. It's falling apart. We'll look and see what we Every find. Every time I put it up, limbs fall off. <laughs> Literally. Okay, we'll, we're going to look. We are in Costco now, and they have this giant wine glass. It's for decoration, but I mean, Kevin, stand next to it. Just walk over there. Yeah, that's how tall it is. It's huge. It's and yeah, it's for decoration, but I just, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> 
So Kevin and I went to, I don't remember where we went last time I talked to you. Hobby Lobby to get a Christmas tree. And we didn't get one. No. They did have a really nice one for two fifty. It's a five hundred dollar tree for two fifty. It was pre lit with white lights, which kind of we kind of didn't like. But you could you could run regular colored lights and strands around it, which we were talking anyway. The uh, if we didn't do strands of light, we wouldn't have the area to hang all the ornaments on it. Because we, we hang it on the wires, we hang it everywhere. You're not supposed to hang your ornaments on the wires, but we do we so we try do. not to but then we end up having to because I have so many ornaments. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we'd probably do that anyway. So we didn't get any, We I got a calendar there, which I'll show you. Uh, you'll see in the grocery haul, but then I'll show you in this vlog, I'll show you the pictures because they're beautiful. Um, then we went in Home Goods because I wanted to see um, if they got more uh, Christmas candy out, which they have. And we spent like $75 in there. That'll be in the haul. And now we've stopped at Culver's and we both uh, both got some fries and Kevin got a cheeseburger and we got a diet root beer to drink. And then next we're gonna head over, we're gonna go to At Home, which was Garden Ridge. And we're gonna look at their Christmas trees to see, to just to see what they have. And their decorations, yeah. We're in Target and Kevin's trying to find a new suit that might look good on him. So we were thinking either the blue one or the red one. So we didn't know which one he should go with. Yeah, sometimes. Ashley, close your eyes. Yeah, here I am, ultraviolet catastrophe. Ready we for my gift. we got Ashley a gift today. Close your eyes. You saw it, didn't you? No, I did, but yeah, I didn't want it. We got her a gift today, and we're giving it to her early because we know that she's going to love it, and she can't open it until it's time. Okay. Ah! <gasps> it's a Sum Sum Advent Calendar. I wonder if it has a Marie. I don't think it does have a Marie, I, because they That's had one. We got it at Costco. I think you can open this part. Oh. We oh. got it at Costco, and um, um, they had one set up, like a display, and Marie wasn't in there. But we thought, because we know your love of Tsum Tsum, we knew that you would appreciate it anyway. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, and you can set them out. It's like a little you can't, stage. Yeah, it's a display. Yeah, but you cannot open it. We have to see. We want to see every day what you get. So it literally goes from, where's number one? Oh, I see. Number one. I don't. Oh, oh, it's not in order. I was so confused. Okay, where's, okay, so you don't get one on the 25th day. One, two. It looks like numbers are missing. I know. That's why I'm looking. One, two. Where's three? Three. It doesn't look like there's 25 numbers there. I can't find four. Oh, four. It's small. The some are different sizes. It's throwing out five. Six is at the Six. top. Seven's at the bottom. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19. Oh, 19, 20. This is like a like a word search. I know, 20. 21. I saw 22. 22 yeah. 23, 24. And there's I've, no 25. There's so no guess, 25. Okay. So I guess you start, do, can, would, you, would you start on the second? And then on the You start, you don't have one on Christmas for Day. For Christmas oh, Day, they're, no for Christmas Day, they're all already oh, out on this one. I get that one. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I bet you get exactly yeah. what's there. Yeah. yeah, but there aren't 25 showing. No, but they... They, they come with pieces. Oh. Yeah, like the little stands is a, is a day. Yeah, so you're going to have some price and boring days. 
but beginning December 1st, this is going to be very exciting. I don't think they're all showing it. Because Ashley will have to show us what Zoom Zoom she gets every day. That's exactly it. You get six large figures, six medium figures, six small, six headbands, and six stackable accessories. It says 24 days in the front. 24 toys. So you like it? Front. Yes. On the first day of Christmas, my Zoom Zoom gave to me. <laughs> So today, uh, Kevin and I are gonna go to the cemetery, and the reason we're gonna go, not only because my mom's there, of course, but because I want to show you the leaves in Kentucky right now, because this is right across the street from my house, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I want to show you some leaves uh, over, I'm hoping it'll be just as pretty at the cemetery. So we've stopped here so uh, because these trees are just beautiful next to the water and we saw some ducks. Last time we were here, the ducks were gone and now the ducks are back and um, there's more of them, but uh, you see how beautiful these trees are. That's why we came over here at this time. It's supposed to rain tonight and I'm afraid that they're gonna, um, a lot of them will lose their leaves. And so that's why I wanted to come over here today, but uh, you can see more ducks out there. But it's it's just beautiful and you can see the reflection. I, I know, the, gar the, the garbage can's full over there. Um, oh, yeah, it's a shame that uh, people litter like this. It really is. If I ever saw anybody doing it, I would say something for sure. I've always wanted to visit the New England states this time of year because of this, because of the leaves. I think it would be gorgeous to drive up uh, to 
uh, Vermont and Pennsylvania and Maine. Uh, I think it would be absolutely beautiful this time of year. So if you all are in those states uh, and you see these beautiful colors, then tell me. And if you're in a state, yeah, it, we don't have any crackers. <laughs> Um, if you're in a state that you don't see these colors at all, then tell me that too, because I'm always curious about where you all live and, and what you see. But this time of year, even just driving down the road, it's like, wow, that's beautiful. How can you not notice how beautiful that is? So there will be some pictures at the end of the video, um, and now you'll know where they came from. <laughs> Okay, Kevin and I are sitting in the bed. <laughs> it is, it's actually nighttime, and look, look who's with us. <laughs> the dead cat. The dead cat. And, and Kevin said, do you want me to put Guido up here? Guido's down here on the floor. I said, no, not yet, because I want, I said, I want to film something real quick. Um, but <laughs> Chaffle looks so cute. He looks like a big old bunny rabbit. Anyway, in my grocery haul last week, I showed you that I bought a new calendar. And this was a heck of a deal because we bought it at Hobby Lobby, which I didn't even know Hobby Lobby sold these calendars. It was near the front on a little stand. And if you look at the price, it was $16.99. But I got $40. Um, they always, always, always have an online coupon so that you can get on your phone. So I got 40% off and it ended up being $10 and something. I have never ever bought one of these calendars that cheap no, i mean that you paid 20 20 or 25 for oh this yeah i uh, yeah they're expensive so i want to show you this year i got the the legacy bonnie white folk art cal calendar i love these pictures um normally i buy the linda nelson stocks calendars and i've always loved them but when i saw this it's like that's what I'm looking for right there because I like pictures with lots and lots of detail. So I figured Kevin and I, Kevin has the one from this year that we're still using and I figured I could show you um, month by month and show you uh, the differences. Now I do like it, the old one, that it's white. I like it that it's bright white, that if you write on it, it's going to really show up. So I do like that. But the big difference you'll notice right away is that this one does not have any border around it at all. And this one has a, a clear border. And you can tell that the Linda Nelson stocks, although it's a beautiful picture, it's boring compared to... A lot going on. Though. There's a lot going on. And I've said before, my mom is the one that got me um, interested in these calendars. And she used to ask Andrew when he was little. She would say, well, do you see this and such? And do you see that? And what do you think they're doing right here? What do you think they're talking about? And he was little and it would just get him, it would get him talking, you know? So, because um, it's fun to have conversations when they're uh, little. Okay, so this is February once again. There's, I think there's a lot going on. I love the snow. In uh, every corner, there's activity. And then this one, the Linda Nelson stocks, is a lot more uh, subdued. I still like it. I still like the, the hat that he's wearing, a top hat and the scarf and all that. But the colors in this are, it's just amazing. Okay, and then this is March in my new one which is stunning in my opinion. Once again, a lot going on. I mean, you have water and just the hot air balloons and the, the houses. And then this is the uh, Linda Nelson stocks. Uh, she had more of a peaceful thing going on, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see, April, nope. These pages I'm might, yeah. Okay, so this, once again, a lot going on. I love the quilts. You see the quilts, Kevin? Mm -hmm. And the little dog. At one time, Kevin was uh, working on a quilt. We had, uh, we did squares and 
Mm -hmm. We worked. Hand sewed every bit of yeah. it. Not even with a hand sewing machine, literally by hand. Yeah, he did it by hand because he wanted to do it the real way. And then what happened to all those? I think we put it all together in one big, the top piece. Uh-huh. And Oh, um, yeah, we did sew it all together. Yeah, we now we used a machine to sew the squares together. Yeah. Boy, this is coming to your side and saying, why am I not up there? Mom, <laughs> please um, let me on the bed. We sewed all the squares together and made the top. And then um, we either sold it at a yard sale, mm -hmm. but my memory was that it was given to your grandmother and she was going to finish it and we never saw it again. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's mom. Yeah. He, she does. Let's go mermaids in. Let's I know, go. I know. Mermaids and a lighthouse. And... That's cool. Oh, there's a lot to look at there. Okay, May. I like it's more whimsical. Like with mermaids. I mean, you know. I know. You don't see mermaids in these very often. Okay, so June, lots of farm animals. Lots of, I think this one sh should be titled New Life or something because there's a lot of animals babies. in there. There are animals every in there's every corner. Babies. There's, yeah. And. That one's very dull. I think the colors are very muted. That they are muted and Yeah, all you of think them. June is being very colorful and bright and green and okay. kind of July. Wow. Yeah, Happy Independence Day, Fourth of July. That's beautiful. That is. This and one's nice. It's uh, more out in the country. Yeah, they've painted around the corner. They have painted a house that color blue. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> we're in the middle of the neighborhood. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We'll have to get it, it on camera. Right. <laughs> okay, we're in August. That's a nice house. It's just it doesn't look right because it, all the other houses around us are white. Yeah. And this one's like it's not just light blue. It's like dark, dark, dark that's a blue. Neat, that's a neat house on this one. It is. It's very pretty, and I always like the shadow in the window. Mm -hmm. They had a hat hanging on the door. It's a wreath. It's a hat. Oh a yeah. Straw hat. Okay, September. This is pretty. It's uh, getting towards the fall. The the trees are, the leaves are changing color. You have all the apples and, okay. Yeah, and there's a few trees in that one. I like that red, uh, the red house. Some That's pumpkins. pretty. Okay, and then October. This is the one that I always look at first <laughs> because. That's pretty cool. It's got witches and everything. Yeah. This one does have something fake in it. I love the fortune teller, uh, the little, uh, what do you call that, caravan? Mm-hmm. And the cemetery and the witches up top. Okay. Oh, yeah. I liked this one. Mm -hmm. It has some fake in it. It's got the pumpkin carriage at the bottom. Everything else is very realistic. but. Oh, that. Yeah. Of course, you could make one out of something else and make it look like a pumpkin. But. Yeah, I liked that picture this year. Okay, so yeah, that's... a lot of flowers in the garden there, too. Okay, so November. Hold on, I keep wanting... I wonder if my pages are thinner than yours. Mine are really thick. Yeah, mine are... Mine, I think mine are a little thinner than yours. Um, are they? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, and then this is November. That is very pretty. But I, I really liked this house. Mm -hmm. But uh, once again, the sky, of course, that is a cold sky. Yeah, we had a turkey in there. Yeah, I bet he doesn't have long for the world. <laughs> Nobody's chasing him with an axe or anything. Yeah, this one doesn't have a turkey. Okay, last one. This one's pretty. <laughs> it's not not as pretty as that, but it's pretty. It's not as busy as that. I mean, this has everything. Once again, you get a view of the water. The houses are beautiful. They're like the old colonial, like Williamsburg, Virginia type homes. You know, that's very very pretty. And then then Kevin's. That's. I hate to say it, but that's just boring. It's just boring. I like the tree on top. They have a scene at the bottom. I swear all they've done is reversed this. They've just reversed it. Because mm -hmm. there's the boy in the sled, and the boy in the sled's over there, up mm -hmm. here. 
And then there's the, the, the sleigh with the dog. The sleigh with the dog is up here. Well, this light. one is completely, no, it's completely different. Those houses aren't even there anymore. Her pictures though, Linda Nelson stocks though, I feel like she hasn't done any new ones in a long time. And right. I feel like I've, I've gotten the same ones for a while. So well, anyway, these, yeah, I feel well, like it says this is the 13th edition. I know. I just feel like if I went back to some of the other older calendars, I feel like I've have years seen them something. before. No, just copyright. So anyway, I'm thrilled that I found this and just know that if you all go to uh, Hobby Lobby, get the get the coupon on your phone and get 40% off yeah and then uh, you can get this calendar or any calendar I would look around for something that appeals to you um, for ten dollars. She died in 2011, so I don't think she's got anything new coming out. Okay, so okay, so it's 2000, <laughs> Okay, see, I told you they'd been using the pictures. They'll continue to print the stock calendars selected for our most cherished paintings. Okay, so they have been using them for a while, mm. and I guess she's still alive. I don't see anything about her being dead. Uh, 2007, she was designed to was uh, chosen design ornament for the blue room at the White House. That's, kinda <gasps> That's cool. so neat. Still reside in their uh, farm. Yeah. So yeah. So I'll have to look at these uh, for for the next few years from now on because since I know she and I'm sorry she died, but I'll have to look at these for now on. Okay. Here's something you don't see every day. Woohoo! I'm driving! Um, today is Wednesday and Kevin, a couple weeks ago, Kevin went to Vision Works and they, the doctor there saw something on his eye and so they referred him to a retinal specialist. So today was Kevin's appointment with the retinal specialist. And so we went in and they gave him some eye drops and they ended up giving him two more different kinds of eye drops and he has his eyes dilated right now. Show what you look like right now, Roy Orbison. <laughs> uh, so anyway, they said um, there are two spots on his eye, which eye is it? Your right eye? Right eye. And they said that it's macular degeneration yeah, early early stage. it's very 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 early so basically you don't do anything about it it's you you go to the doctor once a year and you don't have to worry about it otherwise uh, he, they were they said they would give him a chart to look at in case you know that he could look at every once in a while and, and you're supposed to be looking for different things on this chart to see if anything changes but they didn't give him one so uh, but anyway, that's that's what we're doing and that's why I'm driving home is because um, Kevin has his eyes dilated and he every he said everything looks really dark to him right now So but I don't mind driving. It's a um, I don't go on the interstate at all um, I go uh, this is called Winchester Road and I'm comfortable on this road and So it's no big deal. Kevin can show you how it looks like out the front of the out the front of the car This is how Guido used to play all the time with his blanket. And I was thinking the other day, Gavin, <laughs> Gavin used to terrorize him. When Gavin was little, he didn't know. Gavin was like two or something. And he would try to take this blanket away from Guido. <laughs> Forget my sweatpants too. I came home and I put these sweatpants on. These are like my favorite sweatpants ever, by the way. These were Andrews when he was PT in, shorts. Yeah, PT sweats. When he was in the Marines, and they're like my favorite sweatpants ever. You so a military money going to good use, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. I will keep these until they turn to rags. But look. Yes. 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 He. We had been gone to the doctor, so he got upset and he got his blanket. So I was trying to get him to play with me. Yes, he's old. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
We are at the mall and we haven't been here in a long time. Do you remember the last time we were here? No uh, clue. We always parked down here though at Dillard's. It's kind of on the end and uh, because there's there's just always more parking here. There's always a lot more parking and I see they have a Christmas tree up. Um, if I can show you, I think there's, yeah. If I can show you any decorations when we go in here, I will try. See, we're getting right up front here. So, this So this is where Santa Claus is gonna be. They have it uh, decorated, and that's where he's going to sit, Santa. So this looks like they're ready for Santa as well. I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know what this is going to be. That's a big chair. I wonder where they got that big wide chair. It does look cool. We're back in the car now, and I didn't film very much of the mall, honestly, because there wasn't that much to film. They had some decorations, like, hanging down. I mean, but it was very... It didn't look very Christmassy. No, it really didn't. It wasn't, and that, I'm sure that's all they'll put out for the season. Um, it just... It didn't scream Merry Christmas, though. It, it wasn't that big of a deal. So, I didn't film very much in there. But... Um, one of the reasons I can't tell you one of the reasons why we went to the mall but it was for a particular store and that particular store has now gone out of business so I feel like I have a hair I'm dropping my glasses I feel like I have a hair on my face I hate that um, so the the store we were looking for has gone out so that's okay no big deal and then I was gonna go to lush in at the and it was located at the beginning of Macy's and I hate going to Lush. I was actually dreading it because I've told you all before that they they bug me to death. And you all have told me that at your Lush it's not like that at all. That you walk around and nobody ever bothers you. It has not been that way for me like the three times I have been. Every single time they want to know my name and then they want to talk to me. They want to introduce you and talk about each one. They want to talk about each thing. They want me to smell each thing. Then they want me to smell things that I'm not even interested in. And it's just, I walk out of there hot and just exasperated. <laughs> so thinking that I dread my next trip. So anyway, we walked in there and no lush so i asked somebody and they said that they had moved to, this one. <laughs> to there's a place over here where kevin and i ate what was it called it wasn't smash burger was it no, we were similar to that. what was it uh are you sure it wasn't smash burger no, what's, what's smash burger smash burger is the one that has the, the pickled how, uh, banana peppers oh no it wasn't that one what is it called oh no it's very well known yeah, but we haven't had one here. Anyway. Burger joint. It's a burger joint. They've moved, basically. Lush has moved. So, I told Kevin, I said, I feel like I'm going to sneeze now. This is a catastrophe. <laughs> Me filming myself. Um, I told Kevin, I said, instead of buying Lush for this person for Christmas, 
why don't we go i said we're getting ready to pass the bath and body works why don't we go to bath and body works and they have bath bombs too and we'll just buy those and those smell they even have one that smells like a thousand wishes which is our favorite lotion um so and i had a coupon for bath and body works too so that's what we did we ended up going to bath and body works so we don't have to fool with lush lush lost that business because i would have totally gone there if they had still been in the beginning of macy's but they weren't and we went in sephora because i was looking for a few things in sephora and it was weird because sephora did not carry they did not carry any of the items that i was looking for um like i was looking for some like soap and glory that type of thing and they did not they don't carry that in sephora and i did not know that so um now kevin and i are going over back over to the other side of town this is where we normally shop and i'll probably uh hit up uh target and alta and we have something we need to take back to Coles. And so, but anyway, if we see anything Christmassy, then I'll show it to you. Okay, we saw the suits at Target, and now Coles has the suits. Kevin, can you hold up a couple? Look, this one has a uh, Santa Claus. <laughs> That's hilarious. And, and lights. And... Uh, and uh, candy canes and a tie, oh a top getting fancy on um, us you can go to something else and then pants. pants it's the whole suit the whole suit so i wanted to show you because we saw these at um there's a blue we sweater. saw these at target and i i wonder if it's the, not this blue sweater that has a little gnome on it yeah that's cute do you remember we saw a pug one here last year and everybody was like you should have gotten the pug I wonder if they have it here this year yeah, i wanted to show you this, this way kevin this might be a pug <gasps> it is will you show it to me kevin hold on let me get kevin oh my goodness i like that you need that will you show me this pug one because it looks like it would be cute Oh, and they have one with a dragon? This? Yeah. They have one with a There's dragon. Up. And they're calling it ugly. That's not ugly. Look at the one. arms. That's so cute. I think that's cute. They're $35. That's why I won't be getting one. This is Holly Sweater for you. I mean, I think so. Huh? I think so. It said it on the tag. Oh, it did? The tag actually said ugly sweater. Yeah. Yeah, ugly Christmas sweater. Which is a shame. They have a uh, Star Wars up here. Now that cat one, that is an ugly one. That is an ugly Christmas sweater with that cat. I don't like it either. Huh? Bite me. Bite me. Eat me. We are at Walmart now, and they really want these men to look like fools, don't they? Yeah. Now that doesn't... Oh, it says put your drink in my pouch. Yeah, Literally, and this one is a snowman with a beer on its belly. <laughs> what do you have? And these, this is a snowman that's h hilarious it doesn't look that bad actually yeah, there's a, it looks like a suit. It's not yeah this yeah this says budweiser on it <laughs> cats oh my gosh ashley would die if, if i came home <laughs> with a, a cat shirt for her yeah, she would hate these. Yeah, so some of these aren't bad at all. Ralphie, O'Fudge. This is actually like a soup. It has legs. This has this is legs. Oh, it has legs. So you could wear that around. With a hoodie. It's like a hoodie with legs. 
<laughs> one more. What's the one in the back? Oh, oh my gosh. That is the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> so that is the men's stuff at Walmart. Well, it is Saturday, and so I'm going to end the vlog here. Uh, we actually have Andrew coming over. Woohoo! Andrew's coming over to do reviews. Andrew has not done a review with us. How long has it been? Yeah, it's probably been a few months since Andrew's done a review with us. It, it, he has just been incredibly, uh, incredibly busy, and even today, even though it's a Saturday, he works one Saturday each month. I think it's only one Saturday each month, and today's his Saturday to work. So he's going to go to work, and then he's coming over here after he after he works. He's just a very busy person. Um, as is Ashley. Ashley. Ashley got up this morning, and Ashley um, went to work today, and she'll go to work tomorrow, and then it'll start all over again. She... Um, uh, she is busy every single day. So, um, anyway, that's why you haven't seen Andrew in a while. That's why you haven't seen Ashley. I don't think, I don't know if Ashley was in this vlog at all. Uh, but that's why. Be, oh, yeah, Ashley is in this vlog because I gave her that, that Zoom Zoom, um, the advent calendar. So, she, um, what I will do with that advent calendar, instead of showing you week by week in a vlog, I'm going to, I'll save all the clips from the days of her opening it up, and then when it's all over, I'll make one uh, big video of her opening up the advent calendar so that you can see what you get every single day. Now, we did see one at Target, and I think it said that it was a Target exclusive, and it does have some different things in it. It looked like it came with a little train, like once you pull the pieces out every day, it looked like you ended up with a train and then some characters. Ashley's doesn't have that. I think hers are just the stackable ones, but we'll see, I'm not sure. But, so just know that the one at Target is different. I also think it's like 10 more dollars. So, you know, we got the one at Costco because, I mean, it's an advent calendar, you know? and. I don't want to spend a lot of money for an advent calendar. I know you can. And, and, and like if Andrew was still a little boy, I would totally buy him. They have a Lego one. I would buy him the Lego one. Um, but he's not a little boy and he doesn't live here. And so if I gave it to him, it's not like I could film it for you all. We wouldn't have a clue what it came with. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just not about spending a lot of money on advent calendars. Uh, but that should be fun, and that's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it all in one video. That way, maybe if you're looking around or if someone else is looking around f to see, okay, what do you get in these types of advent calendars, then they can look at that one video instead of me having it, it within a vlog and you not getting anything out of it at all. Um, so, I, th this week I watched, I watched a few different things on Netflix. I've watched... The first two episodes of Kimmy Schmidt, and I don't remember the name, The Unsinkable, Unbreakable, I think it's Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt. Anyway, it's funny. It's very funny. It's very lighthearted. Uh, it, it's colorful. She wears colorful clothes like Punky Brewster used to wear, and she's just, she's a very happy girl. She, it's a feel-good show. So, I've watched the first two episodes of that. I watched the first episode of Glow, which um, has several people in it from Mad Men, which really surprised me because I wasn't expecting that. And so, I watched the first episode of that, and then I watched the first episode of The Blacklist. And... I watched the first episode by myself, and then I told Kevin, I said, I think you're going to want to watch this with me. I said, because I think this is the kind of show that you and I would, you and I like. This is the kind of, like, police drama. We've always watched shows like this together. Like, we watched all the CSI shows, and I think all of those are off now. I think all of those are off the air now. But we watched all of those. Um, and then... 
because uh, we're watching one, uh, we're watching a police drama right now. So this, The Blacklist, I think I'm going to watch this first episode again with him because I think it's going to be one that he's going to want to watch with me. So, uh, but anyway, that's what we're doing right now. We're, um, it's in, it's early, but we're waiting on Andrew to get off work. When Andrew gets off work today, we're going to be doing all kinds of reviews. And that's how you have to do them when, when, you know, when you can get Andrew. Uh, you you have to do one review after another, and we a lot of so you're talking about like the mukbang eating a lot in one sitting. This is a mukbang. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Only it's food reviews. So we're just gonna uh, take it one at a time and see what we can get through. I know several of you told me that you were sending me boxes this week. I Kevin went and checked the PO box just a few minutes ago and just got back home he said there's nothing in the p.o box so if you didn't if we didn't open your box that's why don't worry i'm sure it's all cool and it'll be here uh so i hope you all did enjoy the video and thanks for watching